Let there be light. Hello everyone, this is Prophet Mo Life Child. Welcome to What's Up Church, which stands for Wide, Unconformed, Serious, United People. That's what's up. God bless you and thank you for joining us. I'm going to speak a little bit about the fact of the Spirit of God said to me, speak what you want and not what you see. So I have some scriptures that I've um, written down concerning what does say of God in the scriptures, concerning why we should speak those things that be not as though they were. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. But anyway, thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we praise you and give all honor and glory to you. For the scripture says, if you acknowledge you in all our ways, you will direct our path. So, moving right along. When Jesus healed his disciples, and his disciples were sailing in a ship, there arose a great storm. So the environment changed and became chaos. The disciples took on the character of the environment. They became upset like the weather was upset. But Jesus remained at peace asleep on a pillow and in the midst of the storm. Then the stormy disciples woke Jesus up saying, Master, don't you care? But Jesus remained at peace and said to the storm, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. So in other words, Jesus was at peace and he said to the storm, I won't get like you. I command you to get like me. Peace be still. So Jesus didn't even call the storm a storm. He changed the name to peace and the storm had to change and take on the character of what Jesus named it. So what are you calling your storm? Mark, chapter 4, verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the winds beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him, and say unto him, Master, Carest thou not that we perish? Verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Matthew twenty-one eighteen. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. Hallelujah. Verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things, Whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Hallelujah, Jesus. Romans 4.17, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. And that's how they come to be. Hallelujah, Jesus. Proverbs 18.21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. In other words, what you speak, you're going to see. 
you're going to reproduce after your conversation. So let your conversation be a conversation and not a bunch of contamination. Can you hear me? Matthew 12, 34. Oh, generation of vipers. What? How can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So what's in you going to come out through you by way of the mouth? Stande. You can't have evil on the inside and speak good on the outside. You got to change your heart before you change your mouth. And you got to change your mouth before you change your life. Can you hear me? Matthew twelve thirty five. And a good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, bring you forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure, bring you forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Romans 10.8 But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is, the word of faith which we preach that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So watch what you say every day. Make sure your words don't get in your way. Let there be light. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let there be life.